It's the city's ancient walls. You can almost feel hundreds of years of history um, leaking from them. I'm not good at this. Pretty damn impressive if you ask me. Nice walls. I'm not having her scale those intimidating walls for no good reason. Right now, they're just for admiring. An intricate monochrome mural in stark contrast with the intense colors all around it. It seems to tell a pretty convoluted story. Just peep it yourself, Mr. Art Critic. An intricate monochrome mural in stark contrast with the intense color is all around it. It seems to tell a pretty convoluted story. My word, that's... that's gorgeous! This is my homeland, kiddie. She doesn't care. Kinda makes you want to retire, live a simpler life. Tend to the cattle, squeeze milk out of their... Uh, never mind. Gorgeous, but I have stuff to do. She's not going anywhere without me. Breathtaking. But we have things to take care of. A senior citizen enjoying his time on that bench. He seems really peaceful. I'd rather do the talking. Good evening. A good evening to you, young man. Such a pretty town, Forumaris. Yes, and an old and storied one, too. Oh, if these walls could speak. The birds, the deaths, the wars. Maybe it's better that they can't speak. Boy, what a sight, huh? Yes, yes, it is superb. The rolling hills with their scents of hay and white flowers. The gently grazing herds. Sometimes I wish they placed this bench the other way around. But, um... I guess this way you can admire the mural. Is the painting old? <laughs> old, yes. Older than most things in this town. How old exactly though, I cannot tell you. Is there a story behind it? Yes, there is. But do you have the time to listen to it? Yes, I do. Now, legend has it that a long, long time ago, on top of a mountain overlooking Forum Maris, a Solomonar, that's an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder and rain when, below, a terrifying Balaur, that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either, so they sent an innocent young shepherd girl by the name of Miwara and her dog Azor to beg for the Solomonar's assistance. Miwara and Azor's journey up the mountain was not without peril. See? The Solomonar had laid many traps and cunning magical obstacles to stop anyone from disturbing his ritual. But Miwara and Azor were smart and agile and resilient, so they made it to the mountain top and told of the dragon's attack. But the Solomonar was red with anger and could not see beyond the fact that a girl and her dog had conquered his defenses. 
And since they had proven to be smart and agile and resilient, he transformed Miwara and Azor into a black and a white cat, forever cursed to roam the hills and mountains without ever resting again. Then he did make his way down to Forum Maris and found it in smoldering ruins, and the masks all but defeated, making their last stand against the beast. He fought the dragon for three days and three nights, and finally crushed it down into the mountain, burying it in the bowels of the earth. Afterwards, he cried tears of remorse for foolishly cursing the shepherd girl and her dog, and erected a monastery in their remembrance. That castle above the town that everyone fears, its steeple is all that remains of the monastery the Solomonar built ages and ages ago. It became corrupted, and some folks say that it's from the evil that the remains of the dragon still hold. I hear the masks are once again guarding the castle now that its rightful heir has returned. But who would risk going all the way there to see if it's true? Not many, dear. Not many. Wow, that was fascinating. I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. I'm still here to tell the story, but for how long? No one really knows or cares about it other than me and the masks themselves. Maybe once I'm gone, so it shall disappear into oblivion. Let's hope not. In your face, kid! Man, that stuff was powerful! It's a local kid playing on his phone. Man, he is really into it. Hey, what do you know? An X slingshot. You must have cheated or something. Just admit defeat, Junior. Fine, who cares? I was bored of that thing anyways. So, can I keep the parts? Whatever. Later. Uh -huh. It's a girl with a cat on a leash. That's an interesting cat there. Behave, Kid A. I know, I know, you haven't said or done anything. Just saying. Hello, little girl. Hi. My name's Buzz, and this is my cat, Kid A. Nice to meet you. I'm Maria, and this is Xx. What in the name of all that is sacred and holy? <gasps> Your kitty can't talk. Yes, she can. For some reason, people don't usually notice. Oh. My. God. Is she magical? As magical as they come. Cool! That's a unique-looking doggy. 
He's not a dog, he's silly. Can't you see he's a kitty cat? We're really stretching the definition here. But how come he barks? Well, he was raised by a doggy. Duh. His adoptive mommy was a Carpathian sheepdog. Oh, nice. An actual son of a... That's a very cool and unique story. So, his name is uh, Kiskus? Uh-huh. That's how you get his attention. I want to name him something else, but I haven't come up with anything better yet. I understand. Kiskus. I am now the second most embarrassed cat around. What are you up to, Maria? Oh, just walking. He gets real antsy if I don't walk him at least twice a day. He likes that, huh? Yeah, he's the happiest kitty when he's in nature. I'd love to take him on a walk in the hills or in the mountains, but mom and dad won't let me. It's too far away. I see. Did you happen to see a black girl around? No, I would have remembered that. Almost everyone around here is basically white. It's so boring. Well, it hasn't been sunny in a while either, has it? No, and weather's been crazy lately. Thunderstorms out of the blue. That's why I can't walk in the hills anymore. Uh-huh. I'm a tourist. What can you tell me about Formaris? Well, everyone says nothing ever happens here, so... God, I hope that's true. Catch you later, Maria. See you! I've got the letter! Alright, you'll need the illuminator. What? What's an illuminator? Thing magic Makes light. What? You know what to do with it, right? Sure. Alright then. You're set. What was that? Thanks, bye! There we go. It will now project a Y on that heart shape. It's neatly divided into nine parts. I guess that's my password right there. So... Yes, what? Hmm, where was I? How should I know, son? What? Never mind. Bye! What? Bye! It's that old lady that won't let me in the red glowy place. Man, she's a meanie. I mean, okay, she's like just doing her job, but still, meanie. I think we need tact and diplomacy here, so I'd better not involve Kid A. Nine pieces. That's right, Chiclet. Go on in, then. Wait, wait! I look at you now in this... Light and... Oh! 
Oh? Corvinus! I... I... Forgive me for doubting. You know. You know. Of course you know. You are back! Corvinus! I'm sorry, is this like some Max's granted ritual I'm not completely understanding? Corvinus! Corvinus Redivivus! She's gone. Well, someone got really excited about you for some reason. There's that. She was also married and more than a century old. There's that, too. Let's just go in and figure out this blackout. Corvinus! Corvinus! Shut up, kitty. Rodika and Istvan. Quirky couple, huh? I've hardly ever had the opportunity to see how people react to you prior to my transformation. I've gotta say, Buzz, it's not looking good for you. We are just running into an inordinate amount of generally misanthropic types, I swear to God. If you say so, bro. So, what are your thoughts on this I only trust you if you can drink literal poison situation? Happy it involves you, not me. I was thinking more potential advice and less schadenfreude. At least your vocabulary is starting to improve. We obviously have to find some way for you to become temporarily immune to their deadly kerosene water. It would make sense for someone around here to have an idea about how to do it. Where do you think we should be looking for someone to help with that Suica thing? Probably the inn, right? That makes sense. Luca's such a nice guy, isn't he? He's in stark and welcome contrast to all the grouches in the inn, that's for sure. Ah, sweet irony. We should try and help him with his crush on Anna, right? I'd normally say no, but he is our one ticket out of here, so I'll reluctantly have to agree. We have to solve this GPS and internet problem Forumaris is having. Hey, you always sleep on my Wi-Fi emitter. Yeah, it's nice and warm. That doesn't make me an expert on network infrastructure. Is there, like, a cable we could be following or something? We'll look into it. So, how are you liking Transylvania so far, kiddie? It's the greatest! Really? Okay... What the heck was all that calling me Corvinus? Yeah, it feels like there's something we're missing. But I guess that's just the new default state. Corvinus. Huh. A barking cat, huh, kitty? Yeah, it's like that now I've seen everything bit in cartoons. Think we could somehow use this kind of peculiarity to our advantage? Nothing really surprises me anymore, so why the heck not? A severely battered bust. I think it's supposed to be the guy in the portrait. Who would deface it? Why are there swords driven through it? Did the populace really hate this guy? What's the story here? The bust is incomplete, but if it is the guy in the portrait, there's a strange familiarity here. Kitty doesn't care about sculpture, pierced by swords and strangely familiar or not. It's unmovable and I'm frankly afraid to touch it. There's like swords sticking out of it. It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's... there's something about him, something strange but familiar. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Well, not no, no. Like I've seen his face before, but where? Man, this is really frustrating. Who the heck does he remind me of? Friend? A neighbor? Someone in my family? Huh. Who cares? Stop dwelling on it. I really feel drawn. Drawn to it. Kitty, who does this guy remind me of? It's killing me, he looks so familiar. I know this is gonna sound bad, but you all sort of look the same to me. 
There's nothing to do with it, just, I guess, admire it? He looks so familiar and I can't place him. Who does this guy remind me of? Holy wow, someone really doesn't want anyone to get past that door. That's by far the most secured ancient Transylvanian door I've ever come across. What secret lie beyond this bard? Well, that's an understatement. But seriously, what the heck is behind this door? I guess we're not supposed to get past it. Look, man, we got through some pretty stacked against us odds, but that door? Nah. Hate to say it, but it's not happening. I'd just really, really like to know what the secret behind it is. Yeah, well... Well? I was trying to think of a way to say some secrets are best left uncovered without sounding cliche, but I failed miserably, okay? We don't need to poke our snouts into every corner of this country. <sighs> yeah, maybe next time we visit. There is no way in heaven, earth, or purgatory I'm getting past that door. I mean, I I'm curious, but no way we're ever opening this. They protrude out of the wall like little fragile bones, bathed in the red disturbing light cast from that sinister window. Easy there, Lovecraft. This was definitely a very convenient ladder at some point. Not anymore, though. Go get that hatch, girl! Fine. Ouch! Had they still been a ladder? Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh! So that's where the cable goes. Oh, I can sense it coming. Why couldn't it just be an eye-level hatch? Why? I just hope it's not locked. It's not, right? I'm not exactly short, but that hatch is way out of reach. Yep, that's our internet cable, all right. Looks like it's going up into the ceiling there. Whatever it's disappearing into up there must hold the key to this data blackout. Just reaching the cable wouldn't really help. Can't reach it. <sighs> 